Now, we're here on Santee Cooper today, and one of my favorite things to do is when you're fishing in shallow water is be stealthy. It's the springtime, fish are starting to move up shallow. There's a couple fish that are starting to get on the bed. And what we're doing is we're just creeping through these backwaters and we're just trying to be as stealthy as possible. We're just flipping a little Nico around, just trying to really pick these fish off. And what I like to do is I like to control the power of my power poles and that way they don't make as much noise when they're driving into a hard bottom. Because usually when you're in these areas, the fish are bedding around hard bottom and those power poles, when they're at a high speed, they'll make a lot of noise driving in the bottom. You can hear them when they're grinding in that sand. So what I love to do is turn the speed down. It's a much subtler noise and you don't spook the fish. And that's usually how you catch one or two more fish in a day. Controlling the speed as simple as just downloading the Sea Monster app on your phone and controlling the speed of your power poles. It's just the ease of this app. It finds your power poles because all the power poles have Bluetooth. So what it does is once it finds your two power pole pumps, you just simply connect the pumps. And now that they're connected, we can go to speed and all you do is just go to their menu, go to system configurations, and you can do any of best with any of the settings. But what I like to do is go to remote control max settings and then scroll down to any switch you want to. And I, I mainly use the foot switch is what I'm using. Whether I have it on 28%, you can take it back up to 75% if you really want to speed things up. But when you're being stealthy in the shallow water areas, I really like to take it down to about 20% or about 22% and that way the power poles are a lot quieter and a lot more stealthier in these shallow waters. Here right now we have it 22% and you're just gonna see how slow and how fast these poles actually rise and the noise difference it really makes. See how slow they are, they, re they really don't make much noise, you can't really hear them it, and it won't spook the fish as much and see, when you actually drive them into the ground it doesn't make as much water noise or splashing around and you really, when they touch the ground they're not making a bunch of commotion. So what we'll do is we're going to turn it back up to, to about 75 to about 76 percent of what you on average a lot of people have it on. And you can hear how much louder the pumps are, how much more noise and racket that makes. And, and when you put them back down, when you're really around the hard bottom or some fish, it makes a lot of noise. Using all the tools on your boat and utilizing their, their max potential is the best thing that you can do to maximize your effort of of catching more fish and when you utilize all the tools on the boat that's when everything comes together and that's why I control the power poles and actually mess with the settings and really slow the speed down at certain times because it's about being as subtle as possible.